I always like to say if you've met one transgender person, you've met exactly one transgender person, so I really can't speak for anybody else. But it's not easy being a transgender person in the United States. We only have legal rights in 21 of the 50 states, and 41% of transgender people have attempted suicide at some point or another in their lives. So while we're only 0.58% of the population, we are very much an at-risk segment of the population. And interestingly, post-transition, 35% of transgender people have suicidal ideation, and that doesn't mean they attempt it, it means they seriously think about it. Why? Is it because they're not happy in their new bodies? Mm -mm. In fact, 92% of transgender people are very happy in their new bodies. So let's isolate just that 8% who are not happy as a female or as a male, if they transition from female to male. What about them? Why are they unhappy? Well, only 4% of that group is unhappy because of their body. The other 96% are unhappy because of the way they were treated by society. There are three indications of post-transition suicidal ideation. The first is the loss of friends, family, jobs, standing in the world. The second is your inability to pass in the new gender. If your world sees you as a guy in a dress, that makes it far more difficult than those who do pass. But the most common reason for post-transition suicidal ideation is the internalization of transphobia, that you take in the negative messages of the culture of which you're a part.